Hello and welcome to Garage Door Guidance. I've got a quick video today on how to replace the battery inside your garage door remote. Most remotes are going to take this CR2032 battery. So all you need for this is a flathead screwdriver. And what you do is you find a little slit on the side of the remote. So you can see here you got nothing. No slit there. There's one slit here and you've got another here. So you can start with either of those. Basically, you just put your flathead into that little slot there. Look at that light, right? And what I like to do is do a little twisting motion. So I'll put my flathead screwdriver there and twist. And you can hear it kind of click open like that. You'll go down the side just a little bit and do the same thing. Do a little twisting motion. And I'll go to the other slit on this one and same thing, do a little twist. And you just keep doing that all the way around slowly as you go. Just like that. So from here you have access to that little battery. Um, you could use a screwdriver or you could just pop that with your fingers. Battery, old battery comes out get your new one. So it's got these little kind of clamps right here so you kind of slide it into those and then press down and it pops right back in there. From there putting it back on is as simple as putting the cover back on. Of course you want to make sure you put it correctly so that your button matches the little button right there. Just put it back and give it a little make sure it's all lined up of course. As you're making sure that it's lined up, you just push down. And that's it. The battery is replaced on this one here. So now that we've changed the battery on the Access Master, the old remote, I'd like to do the, the Chamberlain here as well. So again, much of the same. Just look for a little slit here. I don't think we've got one. So on the Chamberlain, remote I'm not seeing a, a really visible slit what I will do is uh, I do I did find a spot here in the top right corner so top right corner um, does look like a, a little bit of a wider channel right there so what I'm gonna do is put my flathead right in there and much of much of the same we're just gonna kind of twist we so we got it inserted and twist and I'll slide it down twist. You can see it's already opened up. Go around to the other side here. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll go back to the corner and twist that. So we'll go ahead and I've got it inserted. Just going to push it to the end and twist. And so that frees the cover and we're able to replace the battery. On the Chamberlain, it just slides out the bottom. So you just kind of push that out like that. And so we'll go ahead and get the new one and just slide it right back in. And we are good to go. Once you have the battery back in there, you just put the cover back on, roughly fit it, and push back down. Might be easier to go corner to corner. You'll hear it kind of snap back into place. But and that is it. You are all good to go. And that is how to replace the battery on your garage door remote. Um, again, most of the remotes are about the same. You just find a little slit, uh, put a flathead screwdriver in, twist, and you should have access to that battery. I will link those batteries down in the description below if you guys do need to pick some up um, just off of Amazon. If you found this video to be helpful, hit that like button and of course that subscribe button is just right there as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching our videos. Have an awesome day.